Imitation is the best form of flattery. We have all heard about this, but no one puts it into execution as much as China. The Chinese have built a successful business model around this exact quote. If there exists a successful product in the world, then there is almost a 100% chance that there will be a Chinese knockoff of the same. So when a company like SpaceX is disrupting the entire launch industry, then it's quite natural that China just can't resist copying them. In April this year, China's state-owned rocket manufacturer, the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, unveiled their plans to develop a suborbital point-to-point transportation system capable of carrying crew and cargo to anywhere on the Earth in less than one hour. This might sound familiar because it's exactly what SpaceX plans to do with their Starship and they presented their plans way back in September 2017. In addition to this, the launch vehicle that China plans to develop is strikingly similar to SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy. The rocket's exterior is shiny, similar to the stainless steel body of Starship. Along with this, the way the booster returns after stage separation, the re-entry and the landing are all similar to SpaceX's design for Starship. As you might have already noticed, the animation too is very similar to what SpaceX released in 2017. What's more is that the new launch system is consistent with China's long-term goal of becoming a space superpower by the mid-21st century. Under the country's long-term goal, the Chinese industry would begin delivering cargo around the globe by suborbital flights by the year 2035 and passengers by 2045. However, it is not completely clear whether China plans to use the same rocket for their future missions to the Moon and Mars. But considering that the human missions to the Moon and Mars are the part of China's future roadmap, it is quite possible that they might entirely adopt SpaceX's Starship design and flight profile. And this is not the first time that China's space program has drawn some sort of inspiration from SpaceX. In fact, the country has been tracking SpaceX from the very beginning, particularly with an interest in SpaceX's plan for reusable rockets. As mentioned by Eric Berger in his recently published book Liftoff, during SpaceX's very first launch of Falcon 1 rocket in the year 2006, a Chinese spy boat was stationed in the South Pacific Ocean where the Falcon 1's first stage was due to re-enter. So China has been keeping an eye on SpaceX for more than 15 years now. More recently in 2019, the Chinese Long March 2C rocket tested the grid fins similar to those used in the Falcon 9 first stage to steer itself during atmospheric re-entry. The country is also working on the Long March 8 which will be capable of landing on a sea platform similar to the Falcon boosters. The list doesn't end here. The Chinese private space companies, which like all the other Chinese companies are not exactly private, are trying to mimic SpaceX's propulsive landing technology. So by now it's clear that China wants to make sure that they have all the latest rocket technology to make their space dream a reality. This leads us to the final question. Will China's Starship copy be similar to the original Starship? Well, like all the other Chinese copies, no. Even though SpaceX has been quite open about Starship's development, a lot of important aspect of Starship will never be shared. What we know about Starship is its exterior, an oversimplified version of its interior, an overview of the Raptor engine and the flight profile. Only SpaceX knows about the most important aspect of Starship, its brain, the flight computer. The flight computer is where Starship becomes truly unique. So if China copies SpaceX, all they can do is copy the design and the flight profile. They will still need to do all the heavy lifting themselves, like designing the flight computer, developing the rocket engines, and most importantly, developing the propulsive landing technology that they currently don't possess. So if China ends up developing their Starship copy, it might look similar from the exterior, but it will differ a lot in terms of functionality. However, there is a positive side to this as well. After the advancement in the rocket technology that SpaceX has done in the recent years, Almost all the space organizations and private companies are trying to develop their own version of reusable rockets. This will eventually reduce the cost to launch payload to orbit and will make space exploration more sustainable. What are your views on China's Starship copy? Let me know in the comment section. If you are new here, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.